Hello and welcome to the history of the French Open or Roland Garros. Every tennis player in the world knows the four Grand Slams. The Australian Open in January, Wimbledon in July, US Open in August and the French Open in May and June. Another name for the French Open is Roland Garros Tournament which is held in the Stade Roland Garros in Paris. It is the only tournament of the Grand Slams that is held on clay. The tournament was created in 1891. Only players who were a member of French clubs were allowed to enter this tournament. It was called the French Championships. However, the first winner was not a Frenchman, it was a Briton, H. Briggs. He could enter the tournament because he lived in Paris. In 1897, the first women's single tournament was held. There were only four entries. In 1902, the mixed doubles was, were added to the tournament and in 1907, the women's double found its way to the tournament. From 1915 to 1990, the tournament was not contested due to the First World War. Nevertheless, the First World War brought the name this tournament still has today, Roland Garros. Roland Garros was an aviator during the war. He was born in 1888. He was very fond of aircrafts and he decided to start flying. By 1913, he gained fame for making the first non-stop flight across the Mediterranean Sea. He started in Fréjus in the south of France and ended in Tunisia. In 1914, he joined the French army to fight. During his career as a pilot fighter, he managed, managed to only shoot down four aircrafts. But he is known as the first firefighter in history of the French army. He died on October the 5th, 1915. He died on October the 5th, 1918. He was shot down near, near Vouziers, a small city in the north of France. The tennis center that Roland Garros visited often during its years of study in Paris was named after him in 1928, the Stade de Roland Garros. Nowadays, that stadium accommodates the French Open. The French Open is now officially called the French Internationals of Roland Garros, in honor of the aviator. In 1925, the French Championships became open to all amateurs internationally. The name changed to International Championship of France. Even though players from all around the globe could enter, the French players dominated this era. In the men's competition, there was amongst others René Lacoste, who won three times in the 20s. He is the founder of the clothing company named after himself, Lacoste. In the women's tournament, Suzanne Langlen was a hero of, the of that time. She won six times in the 20s. The second court in this tournament was named after her because of the importance importance she had on single women's tennis. In 1968 the French Championships became the French Open, which means that both amateurs and professionals were allowed to compete. It was the last time the name of this tournament changed. The French Open was the first Grand Slam who decided to go open. Since 1981 the organization introduced some new prizes next to the normal prizes. There was the Prix Orange, the Orange Prize, for the player who demonstrated the best sportsmanship during the tournament. The Prix Citron, the Lemon Prize, was given to the player with the strongest character. The Prix Bourgeon, or, or, or the Bud Prize, was given to the revelation of that year. They stopped awarding this prize in 2009. It took another 26 years before the organization decided to provide equal prize money for both men and women in all rounds. 
this novelty was announced in March 2007. Rafael Nadal is a player who won the most titles, nine in total. He won his first title in 2005 and his last in 2014. Other big names on the list are Björn Borg, Max Decugy, René Lacoste, Mats Willander and Ivan Lendl. In the women's single competition, Chris Evert has won most titles. She won seven titles from 1974 to 1986. Suzanne Langlen won six times. Other famous names are Steffi Graf with six victories as well, Justine Henin with four, and Serena Williams with three. Fact: The tournament is held on clay. Clay slows down the tennis ball and, pro and produces a higher bounce. Small players prefer clay courts because the advantage of big service is taken away. It is not a coincidence that Rafael Nadal, a rather short player, has won 9 times. There are a lot of pl big players who haven't won this tournament due to the ground, such as John McEnroe, Boris Becker and Venus Williams. Fact. At the French Open, there are approximately 250 ramasseurs de balles, or in English, gatherers of balls. They are aged between 12 and 16 years old. From all across France, there were 2,500 applicants in 2010. These ball boys and girls are trained to ensure they are prepared. Fact. From 2004 to 2008, there were plans to relocate the Grand Slam to a bigger venue just outside of Paris. Because of the historical value of the old courts at Roland Garros, the organization decided to keep the tournament at its original place. Fact: The total prize money of the Grand Slam was in 2015 28 million euros. The winner received in both men and women singles competition 1 million 800,000 euro. The runner-up received a total of 900,000 euros. This was the history of Roland Garros or the French Open. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.